Hey guys, my name is Stacy, and I've decided to start a vlog on infertility and my first round of IVF. Are you listening? <laughs> Your head's messed. Hey. This is my husband Hayden. Hello. <laughs> um, Hayden and I have been together for almost 12 years now. And yeah, we've been wanting to be parents for a very long time. And obviously this process has been really hard, but we're really excited to be starting IVF. Um, just because we feel like we have a really good chance. Um, yeah, so we can't wait to be parents. A little bit nervous. <laughs> He's got a red black eye because I, nah, he plays rugby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs> so it all started 18 months ago for me and my husband Hayden. Um, I was just having a girls night with two of my girlfriends and one of them had already had troubles with falling pregnant and she had just had a beautiful baby boy. And I was just talking about how me and Hayden had all of these plans for me to fall pregnant in December and then have our baby in September. And she was like, oh, Stace sometimes it doesn't happen that easy like it took me and my partner quite a few years um, and she suggested that I go and have some tests done with a GP so I was like okay I definitely want to do that because um, yeah I don't want it to just be all sunshine and rainbows and then it's not and it takes years um, so I booked in with the GP and she did all of the tests um, they like check your um, ovarian reserve to see if you have lots of eggs and I did I had lots um, and they also checked Hayden's um, sperm quality and it all seemed pretty normal and everything else for me also seemed pretty normal so she just said you know keep trying for a couple months and just let me know how you go then a couple months passed and my periods were like very far apart from anywhere from like 45 to 57 days I think my longest one was um, so you know after a couple months I had only had like maybe two periods in four months and I thought no this is just gonna take forever I need to go and see a specialist like I just don't think this is right so I went to see the GP again and I just said, you know, I don't feel right. Um, me and my partner have been together for so many years and we haven't, like I haven't been on the pill for years now and we haven't been using protection. So I just think that we probably should have even accidentally fallen pregnant by now. And she agreed, so she sent me to um, who she thought was the best um, fertility specialist on the Gold Coast. So, so I went and met with him and that was all really interesting because when I met with him, he started to ask about my period's history, like how long, how far apart they were, if they were painful, and I let him know that, yeah, they were painful. Like I wasn't crawling up into a ball, but I did have to use a heat pack and tape Panadol and he thought that, that was completely not a good sign. He said that you shouldn't have painful periods at all, which I was really, really shocked with. Um, so he thought straight away that I could have polycystic ovaries um, and also that I could have endometriosis with all the symptoms that I went through. Um, so yeah, he decided to try me on Clomid for one month and just to check if I actually would ovulate with that drug and he was pretty sure that I did. Uh, it didn't end in pregnancy, so he said, you know what, I think we need to go straight to endometriosis. Like, you've had these problems for so many years, it could be really bad. Um, so yeah, I went, I booked in to have an appointment like a week later, and he found what he said was very severe endometriosis. And unfortunately, they can't tell if there's any damage that's been done, but... I hope that there hasn't and I'm sure that at the end of the day it'll all work out um, but yeah so after he removed the endometriosis he put me on four rounds of Clomid after that and yeah unfortunately none of them were successful either but he did say that with the drugs I did start to ovulate so that was a good sign so after the four rounds of Clomid 
Um, I was kind of over the drugs and I thought naturopaths have always worked for me in the past. So I thought I'll go see a naturopath and she recommended me going on a ketogenic diet and starting these Chinese herbs and medicine. So I tried that for two and a half, three months. Um, it didn't make any difference to like my period pain and neither did the surgery, but my periods were more consistent like every 35 days so I was pretty happy with that um, and it was just really hard because the ketogenic diet is a little bit hard like me and my husband just enjoy food and going out together so much and it was really difficult to do that so yeah um, I didn't really want to keep on going on with that because it was very stressful and the naturopath did say like after about three months, if it hasn't worked, you probably do need to try IVF. So we um, were really, really worried about IVF, just the cost and putting extra financial pressure onto us because financial pressure is just the worst added on top of all the other stress. And, and then I just had some friends like message me about experiences um, that they had heard of through a clinic, um, a bulk filling one. And I was like, okay, I need to look into this. So I looked into it and it was gonna be so much more affordable, like ridiculously affordable. And that totally took away the pressure straight away for me and my husband. And then as we met with the nurses and things, like it just became so much more apparent that this was gonna be a great route to go down because they do scans, they do blood tests, you're not waiting around and feeling, oh, am I ovulating today? So I think it's gonna be a really positive experience and I like things on schedule, like I don't like waiting around, is my period coming, is it not, and doing like a million pregnancy tests. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try IVF. Um, I am hoping that it's not gonna be as scary like with the injections, um, that's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to be really tough. And yeah, I just, after my appointment with the nurses, like it was overwhelming and I thought with all of the content that's on YouTube, I would try and find some information and like some other couples going through it and how they took the injections. Um, I know it can be a bit of a roller coaster. And I couldn't really find too much, so I thought, Maybe I'll start to film my experience to help other women out there. So I hope that my videos over the next month or however long this process takes will be helpful for you all and we can all go through it together and I can be of help. So just like a little few things that I've kind of learnt through my journey so far um, is definitely like listen to yourself. When I went to the doctor and you know, she said come back in a couple months, like you haven't been actively trying for that long um, and my periods were so irregular, I just trusted myself that it wasn't a good sign and asked to go and see a specialist. So that was one thing that I'm really happy that I didn't wait on. Um, another thing was that I had the test to show your ovarian egg reserve, I think they call it, um, and it showed lots of eggs. But the bad thing about that is when I went to the IVF specialist, the, um, the GP there was really, really insightful and he was like, yeah, so you have a really high egg count, but that's because, and he was really, really funny. He said to us, your body is very, very stingy. <laughs> And I was like, what do you mean? And he said, the reason why you have so many eggs is because your body hasn't been releasing them. So it wasn't necessarily a really good sign to have a lot. So just something to think about. It's better than not having enough, but it kind of, now that I think about it, I'm like, oh, that kind of makes sense why I had so many. So the reason why I'm starting this vlog today is because I just finally started spotting. So I'm so excited. That means that very shortly I will go and get some blood tests and go and pick up my medication and my um, injections and start the whole process. We just can't wait to meet our baby, finally. So thank you very much for watching and I will continue to post videos and keep everyone updated. Bye.